I'm not really sure what a soul is. The soul. What is the soul? I think the soul is your inner being, the way you act. I think the soul is part of us. You know, your, your self-belief, your religious belief, and I suppose you're, you know, what you personally want to aspire to as a human being. Maybe it's a collection of experiences we've gained. I think the soul is your spirit inside and what's part of what makes you up. Part of what you think and part of how you react with other people. It's not a genetic piece of your body. Depending on your religion, obviously, that's what the, that's what I believe the soul is. Something that perhaps existed before we took our, the, our form and perhaps exists after we leave it. It can be uh, transferred to another part of the body, which is called rebirth. It's like a changing engine in the different vehicles, you know. <laughs> it looks like... It's like... It looks just like you. It does everything like you. The soul is within us as a light. I suppose colors maybe, you know, maybe if you're the good soul, obviously, you know, it's related to bright colors, white, bright blues. I would say it's dark, almost black, you know, kind of like how we all picture it. Maybe a darker soul, you know, black or, you know, brown. <laughs> I don't know if it'd have a shape. I guess it'd be something that define us as a person as opposed to just kind of as an individual instead of a collective. I think the soul looks like you. My soul is inside and it looks like me. I don't know if it looks like anything. It might transcend like the visual, the visual realm. You don't know if a soul actually has the features like we do, like a human. Yeah, humans see very little. Uh, and, uh, and so that said, I mean, the soul just might be up beyond the visual entirely. I think a soul will have a heavenly celestial body. I think we would recognize each other, but I don't think we're going to look like what we look like here. What you can see, seeing is believing. Well, does the soul exist after we die? If you lived a good life, you're supposed to go to a place that uh, rewards you for such a life. I know our body goes away, and I'd like to believe that some part of us from all the experiences and stuff we gain goes on, but maybe that's just it. Well, I was never dead that I know about. So I can only speculate, assume, and uh, go along with what the old people before me said. Some people would say an afterlife, obviously. There is a God, and there is a heaven. It probably die but the spirit is there. It's released into the energy of the world. And the uh, spirit going probably go into another being. When you die, I think the soul goes with your spirit up to heaven. Maybe there is some kind of collective and it's just in the earth or something. Animals have souls because everything in nature has a soul in some different shape or form. Of course they have a soul. They are living things. They have blood, they have life. It may not be able to talk in, in, in our language, but they have feelings. No, I think animals do not have souls. Because they really don't. I think animals just don't do much. I try to read a lot, uh, I try to pray, I try to go to church, I try to live my life the right way. To get closer to my soul, I go for walks, I look at the sky, I stare at the stars, I just stop and look at people. To get close to your soul, basically it has to do with your religion. Well, because of my faith and my religious background, I believe that I get in touch with that soul meditation and prayer and I get to know who God is through my soul. Read the Bible. Your religion is a medium for you to become a better person. Well, in order to uncover my inner Buddha nature, I'm working and striving to meditate. We try our best to uh, not to harm anybody and uh, all the sentient beings like animals, all the insects, everything that, you know, try to help them in any ways. Pray um, and talk 
talk about it tomorrow. I believe that science will probably be able to prove pretty much everything at some point or another. I'm a big believer in science. I mean, I don't know if science would be interested in doing that. That's the, that's the other question. But a soul, I don't know if it could ever be uh, proven. If it exists and you could find it in some way like um, some kind of electrograph or something where it's different than other things. I mean, it doesn't seem to add any weight or mass. So maybe it'd be some other kind of spectrum. The whole point of science is they're not really, they start out to disprove it and then they find it along the way. That's the whole, the way you do the, the, the skeptical approach, so to speak. People can try to prove the existence of a soul, but I believe the existence of a soul is, is about faith. I don't think they should try. I don't think scientists should try. I think only God should know if you have a soul or not and you, yourself and God. Like science, they don't believe it as long as they don't see a proof. But religiously, they can feel it, they can see it, the soul.